We just recently did a top three airplanes video, but in all fairness, we flew a lot of airplanes on the channel and it was just impossible for me to narrow it down that much. So we had to make a second video. This one is for the Warbird fans. I know you're out there because you're watching this video. And this is my, and Abby's, she agrees, top three Warbirds of the year. And this is also a very hard list to make, but I think I've narrowed it down perfectly. Really cool. Got those flaps down. And maintain a little bit of throttle. Can you tell I just spent a little time at Joe Nall? <laughs> the fly version of this is so perfect that I just wouldn't want to mess with anything. There's a woodpecker. You're buzzing. The flaps are down off of that dive. Let's get it in over the runway. Nice and low. Land the gear down and pop. <laughs> oh, that's cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> Abby, what is number three on the list? Number three is the Arrows T28. We have coined it the McDonald's plane. Because it absolutely is. Uh, a lot of our friends and our friend group. Oh, Gary Zion put the hamburger on it. It's so cool. I, sh I yeah, wish I had a picture go. of it. Maybe you can get him to send you a picture. He's got a picture <laughs> of the pinup girl that comes on it and then the hamburger, right? <laughs> so this is. Just, it's an absolute unsung hero of the year. If you look at that, you'd probably think that's just a goofy looking paint scheme of a Trojan, which it kind of is. I like that it's unique, but I am telling you what, it flies so well. It is one of the best flying warbirds I've ever had my hands on and it has retracts and flaps. The best news is it comes in at a very competitive price. You just don't find birds at this price very often. It's not, it's not gonna break your heart as much if it crashes. It, and it also has a matching P51 paint scheme that can go alongside that if you want. But this one's so popular, it's very rarely ever in stock. So what we've gotta do is Put it in the description box below for you guys. It's linked there and in our pinned comment. Check it out. If it's in stock, buy it for yourself. Save it for a Christmas present. Save it for your birthday present if you need to do that. But it's worth every single penny. And if I'm not mistaken, it either flies on a 3S or a 4S. So it's a really budget-friendly battery too. It's just a nice budget-friendly, very impressive Warbird that deserves very much to be on this list. Number two on the list, Nate liked so much. Ah, yeah. He bought shoes to match it. Well, it treat. is the Eat Light P51 Cripesamite. It is the best flying P51 I've ever had my hands on. A lot of times P51s have really poor takeoff and landing tendencies specifically. Once they're in the air, they can fly pretty well. Some of them have really bad elevator torque with kind of corkscrew rolls when you just try to do a, a standard loop. This doesn't have any of those poor tendencies. I felt so confident with this airplane after the first landing that I was basically doing stunt landings where I'm diving in with my landing gear up and full flaps on and then I pull up over the runway and I drop the landing gear while I'm just a few feet off the ground and then come in for a landing. That's one of my favorite maneuvers I've done of the entire year because it just felt so cool and looked so cool like I knew what I was doing or something. Um, and most of the time I'm just kind of winging it, no pun intended. This is, again, by far the best performing and flying. It might not be the best looking, some might say it is, but it is by far the best flying and performing both on the ground and in the air, P51s, and I've had I've had quite a few over the years that I've ever had my hands on. You absolutely gotta check it out if you're a fan of the P51. Number one on the list, I actually completely and totally agree with because it's just like the funnest warbird we've ever had on the channel. It is the E-Flight EC-1500. And some might say that's not a warbird because it's a make-believe airplane, but in my opinion- It's modeled one... after the real thing. Yeah, I You mean... actually have footage of you flying into an airport with a ton of them sitting there. And it's, you know, it's semi-modeled after that, okay? <laughs> but the paint scheme is obvious to me that it is a military-esque, warbird-esque airplane. So. Be upset if you want, but I think it deserves a spot on at least one of our lists, and this seemed to be the most appropriate list. Because like Abby said, the fun factor is insane on this. To be able to drop stuff out of it, we had parachute guys, we dropped candy out of it, and it's just beautiful in the air. It flies really well, and it's a big, giant, attention-getting, 
fun airplane. I, I think it's just really cool. Uh, the hobby in general is amazing, right? To go out and fly a foam airplane, but when you get to do additional things, like when I was dropping parachute guys out of it this summer, my daughter and my wife were just like chasing the parachute guys and having a blast. Oh, you'll have to link those like non-tangle parachutes because They're the first video we posted, people were upset because the parachutes didn't deploy, but then you got better parachutes. I and did, they and they worked way better. really well. <laughs> I just wish all airplanes were as much fun as the EC-1500 and in my opinion that's what this hobby is all about and that's why it's number one on the list. All of these things in this list will be linked in the description box below. Know that using those links does help to support our channel and our family at no extra cost to you and just for the opportunity to get in front of the camera and share this experience and this list with you guys I want to say a massive thanks to God. Also a huge thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your amazing support and if you want to see that awesome number one airplane on the list we'll have the EC-1500 video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!